Okay, in the last video we um, did parts A, B, and D of this problem. We're going to save C. I think I'm going to graph this at the very last. So let's look at E and F now. E says, when will the number of bacteria reach 1700? And then F says, when will the number of bacteria double? So we're going to look at these two right now. Okay, so keeping in mind that we have this formula that says N equals 1000 E to the 0 0.01 T power. If we're trying to find when something happens, that means that we're going to be solving for time. So we have to be able to replace this uh, variable in order to be able to solve for a single variable. Since it's asking us for when will it reach 1700, that's our amount after time. So now, let me move this up a little, our function looks like 1700 equals 1000 e to the point zero one t power. And now we just have to solve this. So if I divide both sides by 1000 first to get the exponential all by itself, <coughs> excuse me, we end up with what, 17 over 10 equals e to the point zero one t power. And now at this point, we can take the natural log of both sides. And by doing that, that allows us to bring this exponent down in front of the natural log. So we have the natural log of 17 tenths equals point zero one t natural log e. The natural log of E is really 1, and 1 times anything is itself. So now if we divide both sides by 0 0.01, we have the natural log of 17 over 10 divided by 0 0.01 is our time. Now that can be plugged into our calculator very easily, and we should get that time is 53.1 hours. So after 53.1 hours, we'll have 1,700 bacteria at that growth rate. Part F was asking us, when will it double? So when the population doubles, you have to think about, well, what did it start out as? If it starts out as 1,000, then when it doubles, we'll be at 2,000. So now our function looks like 2,000 equals or our equation, I guess I should say, equals 1,000 e to the point zero one t. And now we can go through and we can solve this. <clears throat> so if we divide both sides by 1,000 again, so we want to get that exponential alone. Now we have 2 equals e to the point zero one t power. And in order to get that exponent to come down, we have to introduce logs. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides which will let me bring that exponent down in front. So now we have the natural log of 2 equals 0 0.01t natural log e. And again, because the natural log e is 1, we don't have to really worry about that. So t will equal the natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.01. And if you do that on your calculator, we should get 69.3 hours. All right, now our last step here is going to be to go ahead and graph this function. So if I pull up my calculator screen, let's go to our y equals, and we'll put in the, um, oh, let me move this up a bit, just a bit. We're going to put in the 1000 e raised to the 0 0.01x power. Now in order to get the picture, we are going to have to change our window. So let's make our window from 0 to 100 in the x's. Remember, our variable here is time, and we found a, a time of 69.3 hours. That's why I'm using 100 as a, a good guess. And for the y's, let's put in maybe 0 to um, 5,000. Since we were looking at doubling, at least that's way over double. That's five times. And then when I hit graph, I get something like this.